I'm Desiree. And I'm Jordan. And this is Captain Oso, the little dude. Seven years ago, we bought a super neglected, really small sailboat that we called Atticus with the dream of seeing the world. We, uh, for better or worse, own this boat now. Over the next seven years, we spent a lot of time fixing up Atticus. But we also did boat work for money in Mexico, <laughs> traded lobster for rum in Cuba, dodged pirates off of Nicaragua, and lived off grid in Panama during the pandemic. It's better than I thought it would be, you know? Through it all, we made a ton of mistakes and faced a lot of fear, doubt, and insecurity. It's okay, buddy. But we also learned that if we rely on each other and just don't give up, that we can accomplish more than we ever imagined. Recently, we upgraded to our dream sailboat, Atticus 2, and are now exploring New England. Last week, we sailed from the Cape Cod Canal up to Robin Hood Marina in Maine with my sister Cinderella, I mean Giovanna, as crew. Unfortunately, Cinderella had to go back to her actual job, so now it's back to just the two of us and we're gearing up to explore the coast of Maine. Today, I'm going to be tackling a maintenance item on our list. And that's the fact that when we've been taking showers recently, we've had water leaking through this joint here. Basically, the caulking in the shower has probably just failed. And you can actually see that the wood has started to discolor right at that joint. And that's not good, right? That's the beginnings of rot. And so even though in a way we've got bigger fish to fry, right? Like we've got to make this boat able to go off grid and live at anchor. Um, it's stuff like this that if we don't tackle it now, it'll get worse and it could turn into a serious issue. So I'm gonna jump on this right now. Hey buddy. Hey, what's going on in here? Yeah, good boy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Sorry buddy, you can't eat this. It's kind of funny because this kind of brings me back to my days working on the big yachts. Basically all I ever did on those boats was I was either painting, varnishing, caulking, or prepping for those things, which meant a lot of scraping and a lot of sanding. And this is exactly how I spent a lot of my days when I was in my early 20s, so kind of funny. One trick that I found works really well is to dip my finger into a solution of 50-50 water and soap before smoothing out the bead. It just makes for a smoother, more even final product. All right, well that looks good. So. Hopefully uh, we'll be good to go for a long time and we kind of avoided a big issue. All right, so I am off to do some lobstering. A friend of ours who lives right near the marina, Skip, invited me to come check his traps. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. Seems like the state sport of Maine. You're gonna have so much fun. All right. Go get some lobster. Give them to me. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get some lobster? Okay, he's ready. Can I hold him? Yeah, absolutely. Yay! 
loves being held. What's his name? Oso. 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 <laughs> hey. All right, see you, buddy. Bye. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Cool. Okay, so we have rules here about what we can keep and what we can't. So first thing that we have to do is bring out a lobster. We have to sex the lobster. And that's done by this first pair of swimmerettes right here. And this is a male lobster. It's, they're firm and erect. These things here yep. are firm and erect. Yeah. The next step is we need to test it okay? using this gauge. This is a minimum size and maximum size. Mm, gotcha. And it's a keeper. Nice. Okay, <laughs> this one right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's... These are soft, very soft, like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. That's first check. Second one is, are there eggs? Yeah. We see no eggs. No eggs. The third one is, we roll her over. The flipper to the right of center, right here, yeah. is there a notch in it? Yeah. A notch means that it has been identified before as having eggs, so it's a known breeder. Oh. No notch, no eggs, then we can measure. So that's a keeper. Yeah. Because that one's banded. The oh other one's my will God. Bite your nose. This is Oso's wildest dream come <laughs> true. <laughs> what do you use as bait then? Uh, right now I'm using redfish heads. We're also <laughs> supplementing with a little bit of pork hide in here too. So these are two redfish heads. This is your kitchen. One, two, uh -huh. three, four. Okay, five, this is your parlor. Seven. This is your bedroom. So they come in here and they it's easier for them to crawl this way up as opposed to up and over that. I see. The first chamber has the bait, yep. but it just feels better for them to go this way, and then by the time they're all the way that way, then they're just not really gonna make it out. Yeah. Make sure there's nobody right next to it that's gonna get you. <laughs> so this is a female. Okay, are there any eggs? No eggs, and okay. there's no notch. So I take the tool. So you have to hold it differently now. Okay, gotcha. Well, like this, that way you'll get at it. So I go like yep. this, and it looks like it's not a keeper. No. Nope. Okay, so Could then I just inch. Yep. throw Same it in. Yep. Okay, good luck. Go make more lobsters. Okay, so let's try one more here. This one is a male, and that one is big enough. Okay. What do you call it when it's big enough? A keeper? A it's keeper! A keeper. Hey. And if you're from Maine, it's a keeper! A keeper! <laughs> gotta toss it down the deck. <laughs> it's a keeper! <laughs> so some of them only have one claw. Yeah, so what's really fun about that, do you see that it's already growing back? Oh, right there. That tiny little thing is its claw growing back. That will become a claw one yeah, day. Yeah, a legit claw. Whoa! So this one is a female. Oh, so this has something in the middle tail. Mm, yep. Oh, again. Is that just yeah, marked that's, wrong? That's marked wrong. Gotcha. Or she got into a fight. Yep. Gotcha. So but this is not a keeper. No, yeah. legally it could be. Yeah, it could because be. Because it's not properly marked. Yep. Exactly. Because we have enough, we'll probably just notch it and send it back over. I'm going to do it like that? Yep. Oh. Okay, here we go. Jesus, look at that one. Enjoy. And now she's notched. Okay, so that is a proper notch. Correct. Okay, so it's not a keeper. So we have five traps because it's a recreational Maine State residence license. Got Anybody it. Anybody who's a resident of Maine can have five traps. Squeeze it closed. Yep. And always watch out. And now twist it. Yep. Still good. Ooh. <laughs> that was a look out, buddy. You. <laughs> okay, so I can squeeze it. Squeeze because they've got nothing for power that way. Oh, and interesting. Then turn yeah. It. I see. The whole what thing is when it's in the tote. If yeah. they come out of the bands and they have a claw, they'll kill one another. <laughs> gotcha. There you go. Yes. All banded up. <laughs> Double banded. Safety first. So this is your lobster storage box. Stash, yeah. Oh, 
nice. So the first thing we're gonna do right here, oh. One without bands. You said this is a little bit on the low side for you at this time of year? So Our stockpile, yes, is lower because we just liquidated it. Got it. So, I mean, you would typically have more than this. Yep. And so, uh, there's a nice big boy. Yeah. The boys oh, are, thank the boys you. boys are the yummiest. The boys? The boys I taste of it. So. Okay, got right. it. And here's a girl. Okay. I'm going to throw them. <laughs> yeah. We got some keepers. Oh, so. You want to eat some lobster? You want to eat some lobster? All right. Thank you so much for <laughs> gracing us with this beautiful meal. I really appreciate you. If someone ever eats me and they tell that to me, yeah. I will not appreciate it. Thank you so much <laughs> for, for letting me devour, devour your, your body. body. Why don't you cut oh, those in the one. sink? Oh, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know, buddy. Right, okay. okay. Oh my All right, god. you take the camera. Oh my god. But okay. you need to take the camera. I don't want to cut it in the sink because I want it to be over here. Why? Oh boy, it's gonna get me, buddy. It it's not gonna get totally you. Gonna as get long me. as you hold it like that, you're okay. Yeah. Do you want me to get it? Nope. I'm oh my god. Woman. <laughs> Woo! Buddy, this is not how I this anticipated is... it going. Oh, okay. They fit just right. We're gonna have this guy. We're gonna put him in there once the lobsters are done. Oh. Right? Oh, but we're gonna steam he is. you. We're gonna steam you. No, it's not fair. Just... There's a double standard with what we eat as humans, isn't there? You really wanna get into that now? No. Why do we not eat Oso? Because he's my companion. I love you. That's why, because I love you. Yeah, there you go. And you don't love those lobsters. I love how they taste though, am I right? Yeah. I don't even know how to start. Should we start with the claws? Claw. I think I just pull it off, huh? Crack it. All right. Whoa, yes. Got the butter. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Maine. <laughs> Use your, whoa! Masculine hands, buddy. Sharp. Lobster stuff just went everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Okay, hot. Gotta eat ya. Mm. Wow. Should we just move to Maine? Tastes like an expensive restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Well, we've been here in Robin Hood Marina for about a week now, and we're just absolutely loving it. The scenery here is unlike anywhere that we've been before. I mean, the coast of Maine is just so beautiful with the rocks and the trees and the protected water. And so Robin Hood Marina is gonna be our home for the season. Uh, and a lot of that is because, you know, we need to be at a dock right now because Atticus 2 is just not set up electrically to be able to live out at anchor for prolonged periods of time. We need to revamp the charging system. So we're gonna get a new alternator for the engine. We need to get solar panels and a whole solar array set up. We're going to be potentially replacing the batteries, putting in a new battery bank. And so to help us accomplish that, we're working with a company called Ocean Planet energy that's based up here in Maine. And we actually heard about this company from Nigel Calder, who is just our hero when it comes to boat electrical systems and mechanical systems, just boat systems in general. And one of the big things that they need from us is for us to fill out their load calculator sheet. Basically, this is a document that's already formatted for us so that we just have to input the different appliances and electrical equipment that we're gonna be using on the boat 
I need to figure out how many watts or how much electricity those things use and how many hours per day on average we're going to be using that thing. And I had to go through and get every single electrical appliance and equipment on the boat that we're going to be using and put them all on there. But the neat thing is it calculates everything for me. So I just need to put a couple of little bits of information into this spreadsheet and then boom, it pops out how much electricity that we're using on a daily basis. And so with that information, Ocean Planet Energy is going to be able to design an electrical system for us that will 100% take care of the demands that we have on the boat, which is awesome. All right, so it's a beautiful day here in Robin Hood and we've got a special guest, Elijah Morrison. Mm -hmm. So this is my nephew. And yeah, he's staying with us for what, like a week and a half? Yeah, about 10 days, so. Yeah, so we're gonna expose him to boat life. What do you think so far? It's pretty cool. It's kind of weird going to the bathroom that's like 20 square feet. We got a bathroom, that's good. Yeah. Got a shower. Don't have to go in the ocean, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. I'm hoping not to fall overboard, but. I'm hoping that too, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, the big thing that we're gonna go do is we're going to kind of an impromptu Pacific Seacraft meetup. And so a handful of Pacific Seacraft boats are heading to the island of Vinyl Haven, mm. and we're gonna be anchoring in Seal Bay. Tonight, we are going to head to a nearby bay just to get a little bit closer to Vinyl Haven and also to just get off the dock mm -hmm. because tomorrow is gonna be a long day. We can't leave today because Desiree is taking Oso mm -hmm. to go get his hair cut. So once she gets back from the groomer, then we're gonna, we're gonna bounce out. Since we haven't run the motor in a little bit, I'm gonna check the oil, check the transmission fluid. Okay, we have transmission fluid. All right, check the oil. The last thing, check the sea strainer. Okay, nice and clean. Cool, engine looks good. Let's see him, buddy. Look at him, he has a face. <laughs> and he has a nose and he has eyes. And wow. he's so cute. It's like weird. He's, I know, he looks totally different, He's huh? normally like such a raggedy little dog. Uh -huh. Now he's like, like, hey, I'm Oso. <laughs> now he's like, hello, I am Oso. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're all fueled up, we're ready to rock and roll, but we gotta move because this big squall behind us. Okay, well, that squall started to get to us just as we were exiting the mooring field here. So we just quickly grabbed a vacant ball and we'll just sit here and let this thing blow over us. All right, well, the squall has passed, and then we just realized that, you know, this spot's really nice. <laughs> Maybe we should just stay here. So I just radioed the marina, and they said that, yeah, the ball that we're at, the person that owns it, is in the marina for the night, so we're good to stay here. It looked like the sun wasn't gonna be out for the sunset, but just pop down below the clouds. So we're getting a really pretty sunset. I love the sunsets here because the trees and the rocks turn this like golden color. Yeah. Because yeah, the Caribbean has its own appeal, you know, like the very blue waters and you know, you can free dive and everything, but this is just so unique. Something special. Yeah. Got a rainbow! I know. Look at it! Look at the boy! So pretty, huh? You wanna play? So right. what do we have here? Sheja, pork chops, vegetables, quinoa, and then um, I made a sauce with the uh, pan reduction. Nice! Looks delicious, man. You're yeah. quite a cook, buddy. I know. You got that. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Here's to a beautiful sunset and the beginning of an epic adventure. Mm. Yeah.
Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's episode. I also wanted to give a huge, ginormous thank you to Raj Wallace. You've been so helpful to us and we really, really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to take a minute to thank our newest patrons. Without you guys, we simply would not be able to make these videos. So thank you so much, you're amazing. So a huge thank you to our newest First Mate level patrons, Mother Bear and John Wilson. And to our newest Bosun level patrons, thank you so much, Rusty Comer, Alan Donkey Mind Rowe, and George Larson. Moving on to our Yachtmaster level patrons, thank you so much, Wesley Van Cott, Scott Robertson, Larry Levancher, and Avalon Cottrell. And finally, thank you to our newest Deckhand level patrons, Rob Williams, Scott Griggs, Bill O'Neill, Rick Matney, Scott Johnson, Mark Bosch, Barry Heselton, and Jeffrey Harvey. Thank you guys so much and we'll catch you next week.